No. A local hotel is getting national attention because it's haunted. I was really nervous. It's one of the spookiest places in America. We've seen full body apparitions. There'd be no one in the hotel and we'd hear people walking down the hallways. We'd hear people talk. My mom and I had a saying that not a day goes by where we don't have activity. Hotel Josephine, said to be the most haunted hotel in Kansas. It said something did not want us here. You're the only guest here and we don't have an attic. I'm gonna move the camera to try to catch the one that keeps peeking in the corner at us. Okay. And, um... <laughs> Tonight we're at the Hotel Josephine. We're here alone, like seriously the only people in the building. It looks to be normal, but it's not writing any data. No! Whoa! Oh, oh, in this room, right when we walk by it. Like, move to the side. Stop. Is there somebody in here that wants to hurt me? He screams. I was conjured. They opened a portal with a Ouija board and conjured the spirit of someone who killed somebody. Is there anybody here with us right now? Oh! oh. oh. Where do I put it? I got control. She killed us. No! Have you ever spent the night alone in a haunted hotel? Well, that's what we're about to do tonight here on The Paranormal Files. We're currently in Holton, Kansas. This is a very small farming community with a lot of history. Tonight, we're at the Hotel Josephine. This is a notorious property with a very interesting history and a very, very strange haunting. The owners of this property have actually called us in to investigate because they have no idea what's causing the hauntings here. Yes, there was a death. Yes, this place acted as a holding cell for prisoners. There's a lot of weird history. Presidents stayed here in the past, but they also don't know why some of the things that are happening in this hotel are happening happening in the first place. A young girl saw a pair of glowing eyes in a closet. A man who rented a room upstairs in the hotel watched a picture in a frame on his wall spin in a circle. This place is no joke. Ghost Hunters, the TV show, they were just here about a month or two ago. It's ours for tonight. It's just Mary, Jeff, and I, and uh, yeah, stuff's already been happening. Our cameras, one of our cameras just completely bombed out on us, and I don't know if we've lost the camera from the Sally House or what, but I don't know. It's gonna be a weird night. Let's get into it, and welcome to the Paranormal Files. And my family owns the Hotel Josephine in Holton, Kansas. Want to go take us for a tour? Yeah, let's do it. So when we bought it, um, we had a massive remodeling process. And this was actually the first thing we remodeled. All new flooring, all new um, roof. So currently this is a um, kind of like a breakfast buffet area. Um, but it used to be, when we first bought it, it used to be where I lived. I, we, we bought it in November of 2020. I lived here for about three months. And night number one, we were hit with paranormal activity, or at least I was. I did the night shift as well as um, kind of keep together the day-to-day -to -day activities. And my bed was here and I was laying there and I was about to go to sleep. And then all of a sudden my bed started kind of shaking. I was like, what in the world? So I, Put my hand on my dog, maybe she was like scratching or doing whatever, shaking. And then I rolled over, checked my phone, and it said 3.30 a.m. And as soon as I saw 3.30 a.m., the bed just like intense. I thought it was an earthquake. Um, I ended up actually having to check Facebook to see if I was getting a National Weather Service thing. or, uh, But nothing ever came across and to this day. I, I haven't had it happen since, but a lot of our guests have, and apparently it's a pretty common occurrence. So. Bed's shaking? Bed's shaking, yeah. Hmm. Yep. And uh, my brother actually had that happen as well. And my mom actually had it happen. I can show you exactly which. When I told my mom and my family what happened, they all kind of laughed. I'm like, you're fine, you're yeah, fine. They shrugged it off. I, felt, I feel bad now because I, I had it happen to me too. So. But it wasn't three nights later that she was in this room and 
the same thing happened to her. So she actually pulled me aside and said, the bed shook for me too. It's a, it's a pretty Weird. common thing. Yeah, I've it, never heard of that. There, we have a book here that's kind of like the um, Hauntings of Kansas, and we're actually featured in the book, and that's a pretty, um, like, that was one of the reports that happened. So other than that, there's not a whole lot of things that happen on this main floor. The meat, mashed potatoes of uh, the dinner is actually on the second floor in the basement, so I can take you up to the top. I haven't been up here yet. It reminds me of The Shining. Yeah, I can see why. It's, it's very hot. You don't have any see. So I was actually staying in this room with one of my friends, and now we can go in here if you guys want. And this was actually uh, actually a like a recent occurrence that happened. So it was just three of my friends. We all actually huddled up on one bed. It's kind of embarrassing, <laughs> but we did. We all slept on one bed, and um, they never had an experience, so they're not believers. But I've had my experience, and so I believe. And all of a sudden, it was about. 3 a.m. we heard a baby start crying and you know it's a hotel so there's probably family members in the hotel also so we waited like five or ten minutes and we got up and we went downstairs because my mom was sleeping in the basement or not the basement the main floor as well and we asked her we're like is there anybody else that has like babies in here and she's like no I don't think so I think they're ghost hunting so we went upstairs and there's actually the two guys were staying here and they were ghost hunting so um we heard a baby cry and that was one of the freakiest thing that's ever happened to us and my friends are now believers because of this so right here so, yeah right here we just heard a baby crying it seemed like it was coming from the buffalo room area so hmm. creepy i wonder what that would be residual baby <laughs> <laughs> the next room i'm going to take you is the grover cleveland suite um legend has it that grover cleveland stayed here in the hotel we don't know which room exactly, but this was the biggest room, so we assumed that this was his. Ooh, it feels nice in here. Yeah, right? Wow. Oh. We had some guests check in. They brought their luggage up, and they went down to get some more luggage. When they got back up, they, they called us and asked if anyone was in the room. We said no, you know, we have cameras right next to the Grover Cleveland suite, we would know. Every single one of these drawers were pulled out, everything was, these were open, everything was, all the drawers were pulled out and opened, um, and we have no explanation for that. We have cameras and there wasn't anything on the cameras of someone coming in here, and it was, that was all within a span of like three, four minutes, so it, Wow. Yeah. Very physical stuff. Yeah. And then we had another um, incident here in this room. We kind of like to think that there's a little boy that likes to play pranks on it because that was kind of like a prank um, thing, but we had a husband and a wife, older couple, I didn't really believe. Um, they were kind of hoping stuff would happen, but they didn't believe. Um, he had a glass of water on his nightstand and he woke up, took a drink, went back to sleep, but he woke up and the glass was on his chest. The glass of water was on his chest. It was a hard time for me believing the story, um, but I was like, how did it not spill? And he said, I have no idea. He was freaked out about it, but he woke up with that water, right? Glass of water right on his chest. So. Wow. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> spilled. Nothing spilled, but I, I have no idea how. So. That's shocking. Next room, I'm gonna take you is the Carrot Nation room. Um, we don't have any documents and we haven't really even looked, um, but legend has it there was a death in this bathroom um we're not for sure if it was a suicide or um, a murder by strangle um, but we've had several women that when they come into here they say it's hard to breathe they only immediately reach for their neck and um, that was before we even tell them the story we we honestly don't tell people that story much just because we don't have proof that that actually happened but with the amount of times people have said um, they can't breathe and they reach for their neck. We've actually had psychic mediums that come in and say that happened, but you know, like I said, we don't have documentation. Mm -hmm. um, we've also had um, an EVP of a scream. Um, should I play it? Or? Sure. It's off of one of those really sensitive EVPs, audio recordings, so. What? 
We've had that. Um, what the hell? Yeah, that was during a tour. Um, we had Haunted Rooms America here, and they had that scream over and over and over and over again. They've been back several times. They haven't had it happen since, and that was all in the bathroom. We had some skeptics in here with us. They've asked um, to go in the bathroom in case we planted something. Um, I actually had it. And I, the, the ceiling's still not fixed. I actually had to... Um, open up the ceiling, push up the ceiling to prove that there wasn't a speaker, to prove that there wasn't a microphone in there. But wow. my thing was, like, if this, if there was a speaker, you would hear it with your own ears. But there was nothing heard with your own ears, so. Wow. Yeah. So that was in the bathroom where allegedly a murder. Oh, yeah, that, that bathroom, yep. Or a... So and we're not for sure, for not for sure what. The next room is the Joan Wayne room. So... This, this might be a little difficult to explain now because this was remodeled. We remodeled this room. Um, but the bed was here and this cabinet was back in that corner. This was the first time I really saw something. Um, so this was back in early 2021. Um, I was just about to leave and I was walking towards the door and I kind of looked back and I saw like this white mist come and float this way. And it was that quick, but I, you know, I haven't, I can't really explain it. And it was just floated right back towards that way, towards the TV, because the TV was right here. And um, so that was, that was that. So. A weird mist, too. It's like every room has its own. Yeah, yeah really, every, every room thing. has something. It's crazy. So the next room is the Jesse James room. This is where I had my first actual ghost encounter. And this is what made me a full on believer. So. Right here, it actually happened with one of my friends again. So my friend was sleeping here, I was sleeping right here. I was kind of curled up in a little bowl and I had just gotten off a of working night shift. So I was pretty tired and I didn't really want to sleep but he was passed out sleeping. And so I was curled up in a little ball here and all of a sudden at like 3.15, my legs start bouncing on the bed and the sheet just starts shaking like really hard. And it happened about four or five times and I almost started crying. Like my heartbeat was going so fast that I was like sort of shaking the bed with my own heartbeat. And so I waited five or 10 minutes cause I didn't want to, I knew if I opened my eyes, I would have seen like a kid or something. So I was really scared to do that. I didn't want to do it. So I waited five or 10 minutes and I finally jumped out of bed and woke up my friend. And I called my brother too, cause I was so scared. And my brother, Tracer, he was like, oh, it's all right, just go back to bed. And all of a sudden he calls me back like five minutes later. He's like, actually, that happened to me on the same time. I'm like, thanks, dude. So <laughs> I stayed up the rest of the night and did not go back to bed. And that was my first ever encounter. Wow. So, yeah. Literally just something started jumping on the end of my bed, so. <laughs> I can give you guys some cool history. Um, when we bought it, we, the hotel came with these chains and we were, we kind of just assumed that these were for like fire. You can use a chain to break the window and get out. What it actually was, we have the courthouse on the square right over there. Um, these were actually used for prisoners when they, um, they when they were being transferred. Uh, the prisoners would be shackled up to the to the wall, and the guards would sleep in there. So, in here. In here. And there, there's some more in the basement. I can I can show you guys when we get to the basement. But wow. this is kind of a cool history. These would have been two different rooms because the rooms are really small. So back mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I should have shown you in the bathroom. There's uh, chains as well. So maybe when they went to the bathroom, they were chained in there too. So huh. I can shift. Weird. There. Um. I wish I had that photograph, but I can't find it for the life of me. But long before we owned it. Um, my grandmother and um, some of my cousins had, um, we call it Camp Foxy Woxy. It's just basically something my grand, her grandma would like to do for us grandkids. And um, our, one of our event was the ghost hunt at the hotel. And um, we all took a fun little, on those disposable cameras where you have to twist and take mm -hmm. pictures, and then you develop them at Walmart. We all took a fun photo right here in front of the mirror. And what actually we captured was um, an extra hand that we still really, we counted hands, everyone's hands were up here. There was just this one extra hand that was off to the side. And we, I wish I had that photo, but I, I don't. But that was something pretty cool that we all loved. Mm. But that's, uh, that's basically it for this room. It's kind of eerie. Actually, that's not it for this room, I'm sorry. We had a long-term guest uh, here that did construction. So he stayed here um, for about a month at a time. 
he would always come down and complain. It's like, oh, there's kids running around in the hallway and there's kids running up in, in the attic and stuff. And I was like, well, Jason, Jason was his name. I was like, you're the only guest here and we don't have an attic. This, <laughs> there's about six feet of space in between the floor and the roof. And you know, so there's nothing up there. So he said, there's kids running up and up on the, on, in the attic and in the hallway, so. Mm. A lot of kids. Yeah. yeah. I wonder why. Definitely. This is, next room is called the Buffalo Room. This is basically the uh, uh, grand finale of the rooms. Um, one of the biggest stories that, that was uncovered was this painting. And I should go back to kind of the beginning. When we first bought it, the owner before us didn't talk about the ghosts. In fact, it was almost frowned upon to talk about the ghosts here. Um, she always would deny that it wasn't haunted. I don't know if it was a religious thing or something, but um, so mo most of these stories are occurring under our ownership. But one, the, one of the big stories that happened that she would actually tell us um, was this painting. We had a huge, or they, they had a huge hunter, macho man come in and he stayed in this room. This um, painting actually started spinning on the wall and um, he checked out that he didn't stay very long. He stayed for like 20 <laughs> minutes for that to happen. Oh my God, oh. if I saw that shit, I would be yeah, uh, right? running out the door, man. So in <laughs> each room, we have a guest log. Um, you kind of for guests to announce their experiences, you know, for fun. Um, I, was, I was working night shift. And so usually people check into this room but it's like a 50-50 people check in, people check out of this room as they just get a weird vibe halfway through the night so they just leave. But there was this one um, anniversary couple and they were having a great time. They were using equipment up here, like they were having a blast. And all of a sudden it was like 2.30 I wanna say, they came in and they came out and they came downstairs and they're like, hey, we're just gonna leave. I'm like, okay. So I went, uh, we went back up here the next morning and we checked in the book and it said something did not want us here. And that was it, they wrote in the book. They were in and out. So. Interesting. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste too much time, but it, it said uh, left at 3:30 a.m. Something didn't want us here, and that was that was the extent of it. So, uh, and you guys have a camera rolling in here, so I don't want to bother that. But we get a lot of visual um, in here, and, and it's something about that closet that really um, ticks it. I have seen the shadow figures come out of the closet. We've seen shadow shadow figures in the closet. Um, it's something about that closet that really spooks me. Whatever is here in this closet, or in this room is negative. Uh, maybe just grumpy, um, angry that we're remodeling the place. I, I'm not for sure, but it's, whatever it is, it's not very nice. I'm missing something, Talon. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> we, have a, we have a bell in there. The, the bell was in there when we bought the hotel. We've had guests say that they hear the bell ring in there. Oh. Um, not really any explanation for it. Oh yeah, this is a big one. <laughs> we had, there was a ghost tour going on, um, but you know, people also like to come in and they like the history of it. So my mom was giving a history tour to this family that had a young girl. And obviously the young girl, we kept it G rated, no paranormal stories. She was running into each um, closet and jumping out trying to scare the mom and um, the, her family. Well, she gets to this room, runs into the closet here, screams bloody murder, runs back out and says, mommy, mommy, I saw eyes in the closet. Um, that was <laughs> a big red flag because we never talked about paranormal. We never said that this was the room. So that was a, a big deal. So, oh, that's creepy. Yeah. <laughs> As you know, they're innocent children as well. So they don't know anything about ghosts or right. anything. So. That, that little girl that was bouncing off the walls, hyper, the, for the rest of the night, she, she went like this. Um, the, the tour group that was here, she asked, hey, little girl, do you want to tell everyone what happened to you? And she's like, like, do you want your mom to tell you, to tell everyone what happened here? And she was like, no. So whatever <laughs> happened in here really shook her up. So, yeah. So, that's strange. Would it be like glowing eyes or like normal? I we what... we didn't get that out of her. <laughs> she she you was know? she was quiet ever since that. So that's crazy. Yeah. And no, like big history in this room. Nothing in this room. Um, 
And, and the, honestly, they didn't really keep a lot of documentation. Um, we do know that back in the day, uh, sick people would come to hotels to essentially die because they had running water, they had electricity. The first floor was all dining rooms and the second floor was all actual bedrooms. Um, so which is why these rooms are kind of larger than the ones downstairs. Um, so we're not for sure if someone was just a residual or angry that they passed away so soon. We're not for sure, but. There is one death record. His name's William Tier. He was the old proprietor of the hotel and they called him Old Bill Tier. So I don't know if that's him, if he's a grumpy old man or. What. And he died in the building? Yeah, he died in the In hotel. the John Wayne room and I missed that. He, he died in that John Wayne room where I saw that white mist hmm. float across. So yeah, there's a lot of shadow. We consistently, we get people saying they see shadows in, in this in the closet area specifically. Um, we had people use that laser grid. There is, there is a group up here in the Buffalo room and there's a group down in the basement. Um, on, they were doing the Estes method in the basement. At the exact same time they caught a shadow on the laser grid, the, the person said, they're coming, they're mm -hmm. here. And at that exact moment, it passed the shadow grid and they have that all on footage. Mm. I don't have the footage, but they do. Crazy. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, do you want to tell? Do you want to tell them about the story about the? Oh yeah, so another one with my friends. We stayed two nights. So it was one in the sunflower room. That was when that, that thing happened. The baby crying, and then we all somehow crammed up on this bed again. So we set a rim pod right here uh, late last late at the ninth, and we all went to bed. Like I don't think any of us were awake that time. So yeah, we were all passed out, and all of a sudden one of my friends just start elbowing me to wake me up, and it's because the rim pod was going off. It was like ee. E, you know, like a rhythmatic pattern. And so I got like weird vibes. I, I wasn't really feeling it. Like this room just always doesn't make me feel good. And so I was like, dude, I don't think something wants us here. And as soon as I said that, the rim pod just started going crazy. Like all the lights started spinning. Like it was crazy. So we all just got up and left and we went back to our other room. So yeah, we were not having it. That's a good, good thing to do when you're freaked. Yeah. Just go to another room. Yes. You got a lot in here. Yeah. <laughs> So I guess we're gonna head to the basement, which is the, the that's the most active area. It's mm. a basement. Oh, I, I'll mention at the end of the steps. Um, we've had people uh, stand right here. My mom was actually the one. We had people stand here talking to whoever's in the Grover Cleveland room and she saw shadow figures move into the Buffalo room, like walk into the uh, Buffalo room. Um, so that was pretty cool. Hmm. And then in that mirror, can I show you guys a photo? Of course, please. Um, the Buffalo Room photo or video. So this was captured on a GoPro. Um, I'm gonna move the camera to try to catch the one that keeps peeking in the corner at us. Okay. And, um... <laughs> what the hell? What? Oh. Okay, That's now. Weird. What? And I can send that to you guys yeah, too. Please. So. <laughs> what, what is that? We have we uh, the person that captured the video s sent it to Kodak, the camera company. They ruled out any sort of dust on the lens. They ruled out any sort of camera malfunction. So that was truly something. They they don't know. They have no idea what it was. I've never seen something mm -hmm. even close to it. I've I've never seen anything <laughs> either. Like that. And That's then wild. we had a, a tour group here and they were taking photos and um, captured on that mirror was this head. And that's oh. kind of a, a tough um, photo. So they zoomed in and enhanced it and they captured that face. Oh. That was like a professional photographer that captured that too. On which window? It would have been the bottom, the bottom right. right. Oh. Yeah, let's uh, head on to the basement. Nice. You guys are going to love the basement. <laughs> oh, I always love a good basement. <laughs> Original 1890s wallpaper here. Wow. And I should have mentioned this in the intro. The hotel was built in 1890 and it was at one point the longest running hotel west of the Mississippi River before it was shut down for one year in 2010. 
Um, the owners at that time had some tax issues, so it was shut down for a year. Um, that sucked. To lose yeah, that they lost for a our tax street, issue. Right. Come on. So this is um, a fun room. This is kind of our liquor store. We, you guys are special. <laughs> we don't let any anybody investigate back here. Period. We we just don't. This is kind of a storage um, room. We we don't let uh, people in here because the alcohol. Um, but my brother and a worker had a story here and I'll let him share of the light. We came in looking for a screwdriver one time. We were fixing a table and we actually were both over here just looking on the table and, and it was pitch black so we were using our cell phone uh, as lights and all of a sudden we heard like a little like a like a like a light switch come on and we flipped around and one of those lights had turned on and the only way you can get uh, like turn them on sorry here, hook it. <laughs> it's that one right there, but you have to pull it down. And at the time, there was full of boxes. But even then, you can't even pull that down. Right wow. So, um, it flipped on somehow. So, so yeah. So the basement is um, pretty cool because it doesn't look like it now, but back in the 1890s, um, early 1900s, it was very commercialized. There was a train that was about two blocks away from here, and. Um, down here in this room was actually like operas and dances so over there was actually a stage there is a stage you won't believe me now but there is a stage back there um and so that's where operas and dances had in the other room i'm going to show you guys that was a marketplace it had shops it had a salon um, so it was doctor's office it was very very commercialized so, wow yeah i would not expect that down here Uh, room, I was doing some laundry, and if this washer is too loud, I think it's probably too loud. No, it's off, fine, it's pretty quiet. I was um, lifting clothes out of here to move to the dryer, and I heard something like shake, and I was like, what in the world? And I, I was trying to figure it out, and I, all of a sudden, something caught my, this caught my eye, and I looked up, and this light fixture was going like that, like that hard. Oh. And I, you know, I picked up the clothes to see if my arms hit it, but there are wet towels and um, the wet towels, they just droop down. And even then, I'm, I'm still not really even tall enough to touch it, but it was going hard, like back and forth. And that made me stop and step back. What in the world? It freaked me out. We have a, a lot of SLS footage in here. We have a SLS footage of a kid in here. There was a tour or a paranormal group in here and they, the kid was scared. And um, I said, little little boy, if you're scared, feel free to hold my hand. And on command, on the SLS camera, a little boy held my hand. It's a little small stick figure reached his arm up and held onto my hand. So that was pretty cool. Wow. Yeah. So what would this room have been? Um, could have been shops. It could have been shops. It could have uh, been laundry four when the second floor was just the hotel. So yeah. Hmm. We've, okay. we've heard this drain kind of I mean, it's, it's not an active drain, as you can see, but we've heard like something would go like that and there'd be no one standing by it. Um, the story goes, we haven't, I haven't had it happen, but um, another popular story from before we owned it was this would be closed and it's magnetic. The, it would open on its own. I haven't had that happen, but that was one of the stories that, that did happen, so. And it's magnetic, so it's, it, yeah, it takes a lot of force. To... It, it does, it does. So, and you can pull on it too to see if how hard it is. So. Interesting. And there may have been brothels down here uh, back in the day, so we don't we don't have any documentation of that, but more than likely they think there was. Hmm. So this is where the um, the shops and stuff would have been. The original staircase uh, right below the gift shop. Um, that would lead people into here uh, but this is the big most active room in the hotel period um, we actually so when we bought the hotel the, the place was hoarded we had a lot of moving of just trash out we, we checked everything because there would be 10 pieces of trash but one like hidden treasure but my brother who's a deployed right now he was down here moving boxes and he said he heard a rock thrown in the corner of um, one of the rooms down here. That freaked him out, he ran out. Well, a few hours later when we finally got back to that corner, there was a box and in that box held these two dolls. Well, these dolls, they're really, really old 
They don't have any sort of like electro electrical stuff in them. There's no batteries or stuff that would um, make them move, but we've had K2 meters light up full to red for an extended amount of time. We had spirit box that would be a little girl's voices come through with them. I can't tell you, I can't sit here and tell you that these are possessed dolls, but I've seen a lot of activity that would um, suggest that something is takes a liking to them. Um, we had a tour here and someone was holding the doll and she said it all of a sudden the doll felt like a ton of bricks. I got the spirit box out and I said, whoever is possessing this doll, would you like her to put the doll down? And she said, and a little girl's voice came across, yes. And so she walked it back to the, um, the chair. So hmm. there was a, there it is. The stool was here. And again, just put it back for show. But this, there was a stool here and this blue ball was on top of it. And this was when a group was here. So a whole crowd of people saw it. Ironically, no one got it on video, <laughs> but this stool started turning all the way around in circles. And this is a broken chair. So this, there's a lot of like, like hanky janky motion to it, but this went all one fluid motion around in a circle. So that was kind of cool. Wow. This, this ball has on the floor has been moved around. We, um, on command, we talked to a little boy. We believe his name was Christopher. We got him to kick the ball in essence. And um, we would we would count down three, two, one, kick. And the K2 meter would move all the way to red. <laughs> so back there is uh, the original well. We have this gated up because um, we don't want anyone to fall. I don't, we don't know how sec secure that is. So I recommend don't go back there <laughs> <laughs> when you guys are down here. I have seen um, shadow figures down here. I actually, one of the most, Sorry. One of the most intense moments for me was I was standing about here and there was a shadow back in the um, well area and it it just had me in a trance, uh, I guess, it, lack of better terms, it, was, it had me connected. And this shadow, lock, I locked eyes with it and it just came towards me like slowly. And the best I can describe it was it had like a burlap sack um, head that was tied together by like a rope or twine um, that was pretty intense and then finally someone stepped in front of me and was like called for their guardian protector and said to stop and it, it backed away it dissipated um, mm. we've seen a shadow figure standing um, like the head was above the door staring down at us mm. um, we had a shadow figure standing in that back corner sitting like a gargoyle um, kind of like prowling like right right above where that filled in door mm -hmm. is um, so yeah that was pretty intense too so so a lot of shadow figures then. a lot of shadow figures a lot of them once again I just wonder why maybe the well I we <laughs> we had a have a cousin um, his father does um, exorcisms with the Roman Greek Orthodox Greek priest. Orthodox priest. He he did exorcisms and he told us um, that we needed to dig up the well. There's bodies buried in the well. I have no proof, but he being around, um, you know, paranormal like that, he was very set on there's something buried in the well. So hmm. we are very close to native tribes. Um, forgot to mention in the Charles Curtis room. Gosh darn it. Oh, I'm sorry, that's on the second floor. But okay. in, no, you, can, <laughs> you can just tell us down here too. Okay, in, in the Charles Curtis room upstairs, um, it's Native American themed. We had a family there and a, the kid woke up to a Native American standing at the end of his bed holding his foot. So that was, um, we've had on those guest logs, we've had other people mention that they've seen a Native American. And we've also had a Native American seen in that back corner um, of the, uh, where the boiler and stuff is. Now what would possibly like a disturbed burial uh, ground of some sort, what would cause yeah. that? Yeah, so this basement is made out of um, rock from nearby creeks. 
Uh, so we don't know if in the process of bringing in all that rock for the spray basement, maybe they disrupted some sort of, because um, this was all native land. And we're very close to the uh, Potawatomi um, um, reservation. And there's other uh, reservations around us. Um, so we're very close to those reservations. We don't know if something disrupted them. So Interesting. Yeah. People have seen Civil War soldiers in this back boiler room too. And the church right now, that actually was a Civil War fort. During, uh, so we don't know if maybe a soldier has died over here. And There's a plaque right out in front of the church that says that stuff too. So that's actually about to be, so. Wow. Yeah. Anything else I'm missing down here, I'll think of something 20 minutes later, I guarantee it. <laughs> I don't think so. We've, we have rim pods and stuff go off down here. Um, People just don't really investigate this room much. No, so it's, feel it's, free to investigate both of these rooms because people don't really just stay to those rooms and upstairs. So okay. give it a try. Yeah. Cool. This doll here, this was actually found in the Charles Curtis room as well, like sitting on the sink. We don't know if someone played a prank on us, but someone came to me that was staying in that room pretty concerned. And I just brought it down here to see if anything. Hmm. It hasn't moved since I put it down here with the rest of the, the toys and stuff. So, yeah, that's that's the tour. That's the tour. Yeah. So you guys would definitely say this place is haunted. Hundred percent. Most haunted hotel in Kansas, and it's not even, not close. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I just want to state that we stopped the interview, and then you did remember something else. Interesting. Of course, yeah. <laughs> so in 1976, um, about two blocks away from here, there is a gas station. Well, that used to be a hotel um, called the Holton Hotel. It burned down in 1976 and five people actually died. Um, so we don't know if spirits actually came from that hotel to here because that was the last thing they really knew when they were alive. Mm -hmm. Or, or what happened. So. The proprietor that owned that hotel at the beginning of its time actually died in this hotel because he shut down that hotel and then ended up moving over here and it's calling it the Tier Hotel. So this has had multiple names. It's been Sutherland Hotel, Tier Hotel, Holton Hotel, Hotel Josephine. So, so wow. Names, yeah. Are these lights supposed to flicker? They flicker yeah. sometimes. <laughs> okay. It's, yeah. I was it's very that creepy. Too. We've yeah. had a, uh, electricians look at them and they have no clue what's wrong with them. So yeah. they just flicker. A, a lot of the time, uh, probably bad wiring. <laughs> yeah, that's cool though if you own a haunted hotel. Yeah, we, we tell <laughs> yeah. people all the time. <laughs> we tell people, oh, that's just Josephine walking the hall. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, right. So before we start tonight's investigation, we've come out to the Holton Cemetery. We're in Holton, Kansas right now. Um, if you look around, it's an oddly picturesque cemetery. Lots of, um, lots of dandelions everywhere. A lot of older graves, a lot of history. We've come to visit this grave right here. Now this is the grave of Mr. William Tear. If you remember in the interview, William is the only recorded or was the only recorded death in the hotel. He was a proprietor, as they called him. And is this him down here? Father? And there's his wife, Elizabeth, as well. There's Elizabeth? Right here. Oh, oh. So William, if you are here, if you can hear my voice, please head over to the Tier Hotel. Head over to the Hotel Josephine, if you know where that is. It's only five minutes from here. I don't know if you can even hear this, but we come with peace in our hearts and, uh, and we just want to talk. Nothing to be scared of. Look at this interesting scarab oh, that's weird. headstone. I don't think I've ever seen something like that in a small town mm -hmm. cemetery. Oh my god. Okay, this is kind of weird, isn't it? What? I just said we come with peace in our hearts. Yeah. Look at look at the name. Oh my god. What? <laughs> peace? That's really weird. I've never 
heard of that as a last name. Oh no offense gosh. to anybody with that name out there. That's very cool. That's kind of odd. <laughs> Charles Peace. Literally, when was the last time I said peace in our hearts? Peace in our hearts. I don't think I've ever heard you say that. Yeah, weird. Yeah, we were pointing out this. It is a goat's head on this urn goblet stone. Weird, yeah, I've never seen that sort of a memorial. So we've also come over here to the grave of A.D. Walker. He's the guy who actually built the hotel. And right here next to him is Josephine Walker Horn. She died in 1979, and she is the one for whom the hotel is named. It took us like 30 minutes to find this grave in this graveyard it's a really cemetery. interesting graveyard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, look at there's the red barn that I was looking for in the pictures. Yeah, cool. AD, if you're here, if you can hear us, I'm, I highly doubt you can, but if you can, head on over to the Hotel Josephine and talk to us tonight, please. We just want to have a conversation and learn some of the history of the building that, it, that largely remains unknown, even to the current owners. And Josephine Walker Horn, if you're here, you can come meet us too. We'd, we'd love to talk to you. And come meet us at the hotel. There's a lot of stories that I'm sure are preserved there in those walls that people just don't know of yet. It'll be interesting. Yeah. I can't wait. Well, without further ado. All right. Let's go. Let's head on out. actually shot the entire intro already. I already shot this whole part, but this camera, this is our second camera we were just using last night at the Sally house. Um, it's not recording. I filmed a little bit on my iPhone, but it's really strange when you, it looks to be normal, but it's not writing any data. And I don't know what would be causing that, but we're gonna get into the investigation now. We've been waiting for this all day. To everybody online watching, y'all know that we give away a free gift bag every single week to one lucky person who's watching this video. Sometimes we give away two. And if you wanna win that gift bag, it's super simple and easy to enter the contest. All you have to do is right now, like the video, just hit that little thumbs up, and comment, I'd stay there, in the comment section below, not the live chat. Once again, you can win a free gift bag. All you gotta do is like the video and comment, I'd stay there, in the comment section below. I'm gonna give you all 10 seconds to do that right now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I want to thank everybody once again for watching, for supporting our work, for enjoying the videos, and for helping grow the Spooky family. Everybody that's out there, we love you so much from the bottom of our hearts, and thank you so much for everything you do for us. But look at this. We're here alone. Like, seriously, the only people in the building. There are no employees. It's just Mary, Jeff, and I, and there's like, what, 30, 40 rooms in here, hotel rooms, the big basement, kitchen, restaurant. It's a huge building with a, a lot of weird activity, as you saw in that interview. But let's head inside and get this thing started. I'm excited. Okay, everybody, so we're gonna start off the investigation tonight in the upstairs, the second floor of the Hotel Josephine. We got Jeff here. We had some static camera errors. <laughs> yes, we did. The card got hot as hot. Literally, the card was like, you couldn't even touch it. And then Mary, has got a kind of an adventurer's outfit on. Oh, yes, let's go. Oh, look at it, look at it, look at it. You coming down? Oh, that's crazy. Oh. REM pod's already going off. Can you make something go off? Something else? Oh, wow, that thing's going crazy. To everybody here in the hotel, my name is Colin. My name is Mary. My name is Jeff. 
And, uh, we just want to talk to you tonight. We're friendly. Is there anybody here with us right now? Could you make a noise and let us know where you are? Huh. Okay. Okay. Oh, and oh, the temperature. Oh my gosh. If that's you, can you step away from that red light? Step away from the REM pod? Remember they said earlier that the REM pods go crazy up here? Uh -huh. They had that experience? Yes. And he got so freaked out. He had to yeah. leave. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. So we set a REM pod right here and we all went to bed. Like, So yeah, we were all passed out and all of a sudden one of my friends just started elbowing me to wake me up. And it's because the REM pod was going off. It was like, ee. And so I got like weird vibes. I, I wasn't really feeling it. Like this room just always doesn't make me feel good. And so I was like, Dude, I don't think something wants us here. And as soon as I said that, the REM pod just started going crazy. Like all the lights started spinning. Like it was crazy. So we all just got up and left. Jeez, wow. Can I go a little closer? Yeah. Okay, okay we'll come down to you. We're coming down to talk. Oh, oh look, at, I got one. Oh, one popped out. Okay, we're coming down to talk. I thought I just heard something in here. We're friendly. The door's locked. We're friendly. Can you show yourself? Oh. oh. Okay. Can you make that stop if you're in charge of it? Oh. Oh, I've got, strangely enough, I've got like, my head is uh, crackling. I'm, Kind of like a, my, my hair's I'm feeling some energy at least here. Okay, we're coming closer even. Are you gonna stop as I get close? Are you coming out of these rooms? So they said the round pod is going crazy. Mm -hmm. Can you stop? Can you step away from this REM pod? Wow. Are you right out here? It seems like you are out here in this hall. Can you walk towards the buffalo room, towards the other end of the hall with the painting that spun around on the wall by itself. That wasn't me that time. That wasn't me. Are you in this room right next to me? Did you just come stand in the door? It's like it walked from the REM pod over to this door. You know what I mean? Can you step out of this room right here back into the hallway? Oh! Ooh. Thank you. It came out and stepped again right next to us. To me specifically. Thank you. Can you walk towards that end of the hallway, please? Do you like this color of blue? How about you light up the light whenever you touch the thing you've been touching when you like the color of the light? Blue. Oh, I like that color. Come out of the hall, walk into the hall, I should say. Come out of the rooms, please.
<laughs> you looked so awkward. You're like... <laughs> well, I'm trying to... <laughs> That's just hey, funny. Right there, bro. Can you walk this way down the hall? motion sensor which is shooting up I purposely put it that way so that the only way that it would be triggered is if you stepped over it wasn't there like um, someone that died up here or like they played about that yeah I asked him about something. he said there was they kind of confirmed it. can you step away from that red light that's making a lot of noise Still. Here, you guys can stay right down there. I can sit right here. If you're in this hotel with us, the Hotel Josephine, can you make some sort of a noise and let us know which room you're in? You could knock on the wall throw something, jump up and down on the bed, scream, use your voice. We would love to hear you. Huh. Are you right by me? Can you show yourself right here? Come on guys, this is our last stop of a long trip. Let's give it, everybody let, let them know you're here. Let's really show them, this is kind of fun. Once again, we're just going to sit here silently for a second. Can you make a noise for us and let us know what room you're in? like you're laying down. See it? See it? See it? Are you are you laying on the bed? Can you try to stand up? Did anybody hear a noise? I just just now I did. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. If there's more than one of you in here, can you show up? Oh, okay. Right when you said that. Okay. Thank you. Isn't it weird though how it's it's like laying down mm -hmm. on the bed? It's literally it's in bed right now. Down. Okay, can you show us something that you can maybe can you get up and maybe stand on the bed? Or if there's more than one of you there, show up. Remember, this is just kind of a fun thing. Are you one of the kids 
that run around up here? Can you jump on the bed? Come on, let's do something. Oh, oh, it's gone. Here. Oh, oh, look at, look at, look at, look at, it's different. Oh my gosh, look at. Okay, there's more than one of you. Now you're on the other, you're in the bed in, in front of us here. Look at laying down again, kind of like. Standing though, you're standing, thank you. you hear that? Mm -hmm. Can you do something like make this light out here go off? Use your friends to say, come and play? You want to put the REM pod on the bed? Sure. Just to try it as long as we're here. And... Okay. No. Yeah, yeah, there, there it is. That no just way. Went off right when there was a big one right here. Oh. Okay. Oh, look at there it is. Mary, Mary, light. Can you light me? Look at that. The moment that we went into a room for the first time, all of us, okay. and that go that goes off. Whoa. Yeah, I think this this we got some stuff going on in this room here. It's connected. Because remember, I said have your friends play. Yeah, you did just say that. Uh -huh. Can you do that again? Can you show up here and then maybe just have your other friends come out of their rooms and play with those lights again? It's pretty fun. That's weird that that one just went off. Yeah, so now we have two different room pods. big one right here. Okay. We're going to probably move on if you've moved on. Now's the time to show yourself again. I heard it. Hmm. Yeah. That was weird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in the room. I can kind of hear him saying that. Yeah, let me. I want to come in too and see if it sets this off. Are you out here in this hallway? You just activated the REM pod. Can you do it again? Can you go play with that red light again down there? If you do, we'll come down to you. If you do, we'll come down to you. If you do, we'll come down to you. Where'd you go? Are you playing hide and seek? How about someone come pinch Jeff? Game, go ahead. Just heard some Should we go to another room? Sure. Okay. Oh, did that room have the choking room? Let's see the game. Buffalo Bill with the SLS okay. and then. Okay. Because. Oh, wait a minute. Not that no. This one. Oh, 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 in this room. Right when we walk by it. And the, the motion light down there. Right when I walked by this, did you? Isn't that kind of crazy, Jeff? I know I got a I have a finger here too. It's on top of this thing. It's on top of mm -hmm. the arm, the little thing on the top. Mm -hmm. It's on top of the TV. Right here on top of the TV. Oh, I like a bunch of. I heard a noise in here. Have your friend stop playing with that other light. Are you in here? Can you jump? Can you jump onto the mirror? Jump onto the mirror. Oh, there's another one. Did you see that one? Yep. Oh, he's gone. It popped up over on the curtain. I think there's there's a lot of, you know, I think kids. That's crazy how this thing's just going off. I mean, what do you think? Yeah. It seems like, like there were two in there. It's weird that it, this one is freaking out, then that one starts freaking out, then yeah. this one starts freaking mm -hmm. out. Like it's going back and forth, room to room. It's in here. And this isn't even the most active area. No. Gosh. This is, and this is that one that we had all those, dude, this is where they had figures on the bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. Did you come back and play? Wow. 
make a noise. I want to hear you walk around, or if you're a kid, I know that you like to run around and run up and down the hall. We have some toys you can play with. And the temperature. Show yourself then. This is just fun, remember? I think you guys are just playing. Yeah. A ghost. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Uh, oh, look at that. That's weird. What is it? Looks like a face in the Isn't window. That weird. What is it? Like right here? Yeah, but what is it? It's just a window. Yeah. Yeah. Can you focus on it, Colin? The window? A little bit. Oh, yeah, I got those. Hey, okay, why? Hmm. Ooh, that, that looks creepy. Isn't that weird? It's just a window. That looks so <laughs> creepy. It's really creepy. It's literally got That's two eyes I, and a yeah, mouth. Yeah, right, exactly. And there's nothing. It's almost like a dog to me. Like a nose and maybe the ears. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, what, like is, this, what is this ghost? Room? What is, is this the murder room? I feel like this is the murder room. I'm gonna come room. in a little farther. Oh. Oh, that's even more so distinct. Strange. Isn't that weird? Are you outside looking in? <laughs> it's literally just a window. That's where you think it would like disappear. Let me get. Oh! Look. There's noise in here. Look at, look at, oh, 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 it looked like there was a body on down here. It looked like a body. Oh. For just, There's look at that. noise in there, too. Look at that. It. It's almost like there was a body down here for a second, you know? It mm -hmm. took a shape, shape of a body. Let me get up close to this window. Yeah, there's nothing here. This is just facing out over the street. Look at this thing. Look at... It, it's like a... No, it, this is on the roof. So it makes sense. Someone could be sitting on the other side, staring in the window. It's just like a changing shape here. It doesn't go away. You see it? Yeah, it actually looks like a ghost. It does. Look at like like almost like a couple other ghosts. Mm -hmm. Look. Oh. That's pretty. That's really cool, actually. Regardless of whatever it is. It's creepy. It's just it's in the in the window. Why isn't there one above it? It stays there. <laughs> and the REM pod. Is, oh oh! Look at this. That REM pod is going insane in the other room, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that. I'm resetting this thing. like moved to the side. It was in the middle <laughs> and it went this way. <laughs> I'll just keep backing up and see what happens here. Oops. Okay, gonna take off. I guess if you're something that's kind of interesting. It didn't want you to film. The, the battery pack was just turned off when you checked on it. It's turned off but then our other camera won't go on. The card was corrupted and this one, I mean how do you, look at the lights on. How do you explain that? I don't know, it was just filming. Okay, so this is power. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Our camera's all day. Oh, right what she was saying, like, when, when uh, just with Sarah was saying about how Internet. it took all, everything out. That light just came on, but I don't know if you guys moved. So this place is, doesn't like technology, apparently. God, it's okay. Show the buffalo. Well, yeah. Okay. We're going to come into the buffalo room. If 
the man or the creature or the person with the two eyeballs is in here. Oh, it's creepy. That's the bell that people hear. Oh my god. That is bizarre. Can you stop touching that light? Step out of the closet. He did say that in the interview that REM pods go crazy. Mm -hmm. We've used all three of our REM pods and all three of them have hit. Oh, I'll just turn the lid. Oh, fudge! Can I leave the screen on here? Sure. Let me just suck it Okay, so now we're in the Buffalo room. This is uh, what people have described as being the most negative room in the hotel. This is where the picture started spinning on the wall. A pair of glowing eyes was seen in there. So I'm gonna start a voice recorder. I'm gonna set it right there. Hi, my name's Colin. My name's Mary. My name's Jeff. We just want to ask you a couple questions. If you could just tell me some honest answers, we'd really appreciate it. Are you in this room with us right now? And if you are, can you let us know in any way that you can? Is the Is the Is the the this If you're the spirits that like to run on the roof of this building or on the ceiling, can you do that for us? Can you run around a little bit? Ask a couple questions. So, if you live in this room mainly, um, what is the animal depicted on the walls here? Can you use your voice and say it into these the recorder there? Anything about that animal? Color, big or small, it's got horns or not, anything. Any 
And can you make just a knock like this? Move the door? Anything like that, please. Come on, you can do it. Just to acknowledge that you're here, so we can validate you exist. Knock on something, make a noise, please. Why are you uh, upset so often? Can you tell us why? Why do people think that you're angry? Just hear like a door slam downstairs. If you're in another room, can you open the door for us or slam it shut? I was just thinking I've kind of gotten used to the heat in here. Really enough. You want me to stir? Sure. Sure. It's like two more minutes in here. Okay. All you have to do if you're in here is come and speak directly into this little black box that I have. Did you die in this hotel? Since you're kind of an angry person, do you ever want to hurt people? Why don't we do the spirit talker in the room where the girl was strangled? Okay, sure. Move a little bit. Okay. okay, thank you to whoever's in here. You can follow us around the hotel if you want. Okay, so Jeff and I are out here in the room, and uh, currently right now, Mary, you want to wave at the camera in there? Mary is alone in the bathroom with just the red light. And we're going to give her the uh, Spirit Talker app. Okay, here you go, Mom. Okay. Ask some questions in there. Is there somebody in here that wants to hurt me? I keep like feeling thumps. Have you felt that? Yeah, I just again got a headache again. I told you. If you're an angry person in there, insist. Okay, what do you what do you insist? Insist what? It doesn't mean much. I thought you just heard like a scream. Anybody else? Negative. Oh. No. 
Are you a negative energy? I think you're the angry person. Did you murder someone? Or were you murdered? Or did you take your own life? Or did you simply die of natural causes? Come back again. Can you just try to tell me through this device? This room, just really strangely, is just kind of, it gives me a little bit of anxiety, which I haven't felt at all in any other part of the hotel, or just like a beating. My chest is just... Over here. Where are you? Are you in the bathroom with me? Over here? Listen. It responded. Listen, listen. Can you tell me how we can help you? Why do you want to hurt women in this bathroom? He screams. He screams? Yes. Remember? No. Yeah. They got that EVP in here of that scream. Yes. The really loud scream really was in that screams. bathroom. That was, he showed us in the interview. Right. What? We've had that. Um, what the hell? Yeah, that was during a tour. Um, Who screams? Edwin. Edwin? You asked who's he? Is Edwin a murderer? Or are you Edwin? Video. Are we videotaping you? We have cameras here. Don't be shy. This is the worst I felt tonight. Can you try to touch my hand? Or you can touch my hair? I was conjured. Oh, I was conjured. So it's a negative entity named Edwin who was conjured. Which makes sense because remember, they said they have no records. They just theorized that someone may have been killed mm -hmm. and took their own life. How did they conjure you? One man here. Is it what? So one guy conjured the person. Conjured mm -hmm. Edwin. Or one man here. Is that yeah, it could be both. Maybe someone did a conjuring ceremony in this bathroom. Mm -hmm. Would make sense. Mm -hmm. Even a guest that stayed here overnight mm -hmm. could have done it. Mm -hmm. What the f? My camera just died. Wow. Are you serious? Look at that. In the middle of the clip. Oh it didn't even give gosh. a warning. Like a low battery. Right. It just shut off. I should see if my camera is still going. Oh, I kind of have chills. Device. Oh. Colin, you just fixed your device. Huh. Yeah. You just really went just turned it back on. You went and got the new battery. How do people describe this room? What do you like to do to women specifically in this bathroom? Anybody. Do you want to do it to anybody, not just women? What do you want to do? Progressive. <laughs> Progressive. <laughs> Finally, a ghost that doesn't just attack women. Right. It's always a thing, you know? Women in this room always get scratched. Margaret. So, if you were conjured here... Real. Yeah, if you were conjured here and made real, can you tell us 
what you are. Are you a man, a woman? Are you a human? Are you something that isn't human? And what was your occupation? Hurting. That was your occupation? That's kind of creepy. It's kind of true, actually. What was your occupation? Hurting. Who did you like to hurt? Or who did you hurt? She died. Oh. Okay. Who were you hurting? She died? That makes sense. Is it Margaret? Mm -hmm. Her, Margaret. Maybe Margaret's the woman who got murdered. And the person was conjured here. Maybe even the spirit of someone who killed somebody. They opened a portal with a Ouija board and- Cart. What did it say? Cart. You know, if you believe in Ouija boards and you open any spirit to come through, who knows, maybe a guest opened something up in here. Yeah, and, and a guy who killed even his wife, somebody came through, and now he's in here. Maybe he wasn't even related to the- Chief. Ch Chief? Ooh, the Native Americans. Yeah, they said that they got Chief, Chief. before up here. They mm -hmm. said they got the name Chief. Mm -hmm. That's weird. In, in the Charles Curtis room upstairs, um, it's Native American themed. We had a family there and a, the kid woke up to a Native American standing at the end of his bed holding his foot. So that was, um, we've had on those guest logs, we've had other people mention that they've seen a Native American. Is there a spirit in here that wants to protect us? We're really here. Hmm. We are really here. What do you do here? I mean, I will talk to you. Oh, I won't talk to me? No, I will talk to you. Okay, all right. What do you do to pass the time here? Knock. Yeah. You heard something? No knock. It's so still. Hmm. So are you going to tell me what you guys do to pass the time here? Refuse. Refuse? You just, you just oh. asked them, oh. you asked if they'll tell you, and mm. they're refusing to tell you. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. Probably because they like to hurt people and they don't oh. want to admit it. Yeah, that's true. You think they're uh, actually together? She killed us. <gasps> Oh, so it's two killers. Oh, Margaret and Edwin. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And they're together. victims. To kill us. Maybe one man summoned a, f a woman killer. Who is the killer? I mean, tell us the name of the killer. So Before we leave this room, can you do something like run around, slam the door, choke out somebody? Use your voice and tell us your name. I just heard a voice. Assault. Assault. Assault? Oh. I just said to choke out somebody. Assault. That's what you want to do? Do it. If you're the person that murdered someone, choke one of us out. Either that or she was assaulted. We're talking to the victim. Yeah, but she killed us. Okay. It's kind of really hot in here. Why don't we go down? Yeah. Okay, thank you to whoever's in yeah. here. Yeah. Interesting. You might have been conjured here. Killed somebody. You might have been killed. It's all up in the air, but we're going to go down to the basement so you can follow us if you want. Okay, so to end tonight, we're gonna go downstairs to the basement, the most active part of the hotel. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. Oh, 
machine. You bastard. Is this it? Yeah. No. No. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. So I yeah, bear. sure. Blue bear is there. Okay. I'm gonna grab this. Oh wait, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Are you here? What are you? Huh. Make something else happen. Oh crap. Okay. It's like just pulsing. That thing is like glowing a little bit. It stopped. Oh. Whoa. Wow. That is a strange signal. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. weird here. Okay, I'm going lights out. Okay, to anybody down here in the basement, if you can hear my voice, just know that I really want you to come out and talk to us. Um, we want to figure out who's haunting this hotel and, and why you're still here, even if you didn't die here. And I'm very interested in what is down in that well back there. If there's somebody here, we've set up a ton of little toys in the center of the room. If you could walk towards the center of the room and touch one of the toys that we've set up, the red light, the balls, or just walk into the room, we'd love that, and then we could uh, start talking to you because we'd know you're here. Oh, oh, look at, look at oh, it oh, 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 oh. You got it? You got it? Yep. Okay, you're here again. Oh, all the way around and just went off. Can you make one of these other lights go off then? Let us know you're here. Oh. oh. What happened? The light went out again to yellow. Okay, let's see. Can you play with some of these other toys we have? Oh, whoa. Why don't you just like this? Whoa. Oh, wow. oh my gosh, wow, my hand is like tingling. That is an insane amount of oh EMS. Okay, who's here? Move that energy over, away from here and over to the other things. Make these other things go off. They're just toys. They're kind of fun. Heard that before, right? <laughs> Every time. Kind of fun. Yeah. He says that about the SLS. Come on, yeah, show up. It's kind of fun. It's like they're harmless. <laughs> okay, let's make it happen. If you're here with us and that is you spiking that K2, that meter right there, or trying to hold my dad's hand, can you knock on something or move something? Play with. Oh my God! Oh my God! Whoa! Oh, thank you. What? Thank you so much. You came in. Let's make these other lights go off now. Oh, that was eerie. The first time I'm actually feeling ting tingly. Yeah, me too. That, those are the oh okay. right when I pointed it oh I got more, chills yeah. more of you are coming in oh okay. dude my legs I have chills mm -hmm. oh <laughs> 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 it's, it's light. Ooh. Like, oh 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 the motion sensors and they're all pointed at the door there's no way that we could trigger oh. these if we tried oh. Hey, where are you? My leg oh, oh, here, has here goosebumps, go. if you can see it. Here, here you are, so you're still in the room. Do you like it over here, by Mary? Hmm. Mary, if you want. If you're in the room with us now, and I think you are, can you make a noise or tell us your name? I know you're strong enough. K2. 
Can you say the name of the owners? The people that own this hotel? I think that you contact them a lot or you communicate with them a lot. Okay, we're gonna ask you some questions now. If you use your voice, we should be able to hear your answers. Oh. Thank you for that response. We're not afraid of you also. We just wanna talk. Oh. That's so weird. Rape. Oh. This is just like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So come, quiet in here. Come mm -hmm. over here again. You're still here, I bet. Just come over and... Scrape ring. Come over and touch this again. Since you like to play with this one. Beckon. If anyone online can make sense of these words, comment below. I'm interested to hear people's theories. There's a lot of, is it paint or wallpaper scraped off yeah, as well? Yeah, I was say there's mm -hmm. there. Probably done within the last couple of years when they've been renovating mm -hmm. everything. What's back there behind that metal gate? Can you tell me what's back there? Come back in. Come back in the room. Oh. oh. Oh, you're still here. Okay. Again, can you use that same energy and go over and touch that red light? Pace. Pace? Mm -hmm. Really? So can you go touch it, walk over there? Pace? Yeah, are you pacing around, setting off our lights? Who are you? like the hotel storage and everything. Mm -hmm. oh. oh! Okay, coming back in. Here, play with this then. I'll hold it out for you. Can you give us your name? Scrape. Just come and touch. <laughs> Scrape again. Come and touch this. If you, maybe it's a little kid because of the dolls. Uh -huh. Oh, look at it. Look. Oh. Did, you get a, did you get a scrape down here in the basement? See, that doesn't Jog. Hurt. That doesn't jog. hurt. Oh, yeah. Scrape twice, jog, and pace. So something about scraping and then something, two movement words, and the motion sensors keep getting set off. Kind of weird. Mm -hmm. this keeps, this keeps kind of boring. There's a lot of EMF energy in here. Let's do a spirit box. Okay. Oh. oh. Good idea. Yep, that's a yes. Oh. <laughs> We're like a crowd at well, like an event. Well, you know, I think the thing is, that yeah. this is not really a, a scary place to me. No. And they I said mean, that... You know, it's more yeah. like goofing around. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, right when you talk really? about laughing? Laugh my ass. <laughs> you literally just said this place this is, is goofy L it says, it's about laughing. It says L-M-A-O area character. Weird. You know? Like this is the area to laugh. Okay, if you talk to, if you speak with your voice, we might be able to hear it. Um, if there's somebody here with us, can you say hi, hello, yes, something like that to let us know you're here? Did it say the well? Yes. Yes. The well, the Lord. Well, the well is back behind us. Uh huh. Why is the well so important? Are you, is your body down in the well? Is there something hidden in the well? Can you tell us how old you are? Are 
Are you one of the children? Do you like to play with the dolls? Oh, cool. What was that? What's hidden in the well? What's down there? What's down in the well? How many spirits are in this hotel? Can you tell us the name of any of the employees here? Did you try to scare Talon when he was with his friends? Is there a spirit that of somebody that murdered somebody upstairs? Well, we've been investigating the Hotel Josephine for hours now. It has been a lot of fun. It's a beautiful place. It's a great property if you ever are looking to visit a haunted place here in, uh, here in Holton, Kansas. It's for sale as well, but you can come say hi to Tracer and Talon. Great people. They invited us out here super awesome family we're so thankful that they allowed us to come and were so gracious and put us up in rooms and gave us even snacks and everything they were really really kind to us so we love this place their mom sarah yeah and sarah their mom is is amazing too i don't know it i'm still more confused i guess now than i was at the beginning but it was weird that it sounded like there was a entity or a man almost conjured up in that bathroom, which makes me think maybe a guest brought in a Ouija board and something happened or I don't know. That's really the only clarity we got tonight. If there's anybody down here, one final time, can you walk into this room like you were doing before? I think everybody went to bed tonight. Mm -hmm. Well, I also hope everybody has enjoyed our Kansas, um, Missouri mixture series. We for sure had so much fun filming and producing these videos and we all love you guys so much. Um, you guys got any final thoughts? Oh, oh right when you handed it to me. <laughs> Again, the damn, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're very excited. Yeah. No, I think it's, personally, I think like they said, I think it's more of a playful environment. Except for maybe that one room mm -hmm. with the man, the hatchet woman. But I think there's like, to me, I think there's like kids and stuff upstairs. But that's just my feeling. Yeah, I don't think it's a real, I don't feel negative at all. It's, mm -hmm. it's just, it's fun to investigate. And it's just... It, feels like positive energy, but I feel like there's definitely something here with us right now. For the last time. Oh, right. Oh, the oh, one up front, oh, right when I stood oh, up. That's the last time. For the last time. Thank you. That's interesting, that one in front of you didn't go off. Yeah, the one literally closest to me. Mm -hmm. That's bizarre.
For the last time on this entire trip, it's me, Jeff, and Mary, mom and dad. Oh. We're coming oh, up. Look at that. Things going on. We love you guys. We'll be back soon with more videos, more series, and a lot of crazy stuff this summer. But as always, we love y'all and stay, stay spooky! spooky. Woo! <laughs>